Hey guys, Mike with Getting Greasy Garage. Well, making uh, more progress on the 59. As you can see, that in the last video I got the master cylinder in, the line's all done. I got the uh, uh, overflow bottle for the radiator done. Yes, it's an oil catch can that I converted into an overflow bottle. Um, you have to put a a line inside like an overflow bottle in a from the factory has um, maybe someday I'll show a video of it anyway got that in got it mounted got the radiator in I also been working on mounting the AC condenser and uh, made a couple brackets for it on there and then on there and then this one here practicing my bead rolling skills i've only done this a couple of times but i got the old eastwood bead roller out and kind of learning as i go this goes here and of course you know i'll have a couple of screws in each one and then I'll make one just like it for the bottom. That'll hold the uh, condenser in nice and safe. Um, I'm no pro with the bead roller, but you know, like anything else, the more you do it, the better you get. But I'm I'm proud of that. I have a little bit more file work to do. I use a a file and uh, clean up my edges and stuff and. It's not perfect, but it's by hand, and so, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, the other big uh, progress is I got out the old auto wire wiring harness kit and started on that. I got, this is all the, the light harness. It's just, there's no interfender on that side right now, so it's just zip tied up there, but I got her all wrapped up and got my uh, parking light turn signals on each side the headlights I've got my grounds uh, got it routed on this side again I like to hide all the wiring this is the horn wire that goes to the inside I'll put a grommet on there uh, and then I got this harness running through the hole. And once I get the engine harness done, then I will drill the hole for the firewall plug and run everything through the firewall. I made a metal plate to mount the fuse box on. That's in primer drying as we speak. So just kind of all over doing stuff. Here's the fuse box. Very nice fuse box. So this will mount on that plate. And uh, then I'll mount it in the car. Still undecided about the location of where I'm mounting it. But coming along. Trying to get all of this stuff done that is like the wiring stuff that will be a hassle with the engine in the car um, and then before well before i put the final coat of paint on the inner fender panel um, because like everything you know you go try try to fit a new part and you always end up scratching paint so I'm getting everything fitted, mounted, and then I'll be able to take it back apart, paint it for the final coat of paint, and put it together without having to drill holes and scratch everything up. And when I do that, that's the same time I'll spray the firewall. So, yeah, making progress. I'm, I'm really happy how things are coming along. It's nice to be putting new parts on finally. 
and uh, moving forward. So, anyway, a little uh, update where I'm at. I am going to bend up a, I think I'm going to use co uh, copper and bend a line up. It'll run down and connect to that fitting right there. I think it'll just neat, look neat in copper. A little contrast. But my AC mount worked out. Uh, these bolts are stainless. All the, I'm using all stainless hardware for everything mounted in the engine compartment for a clean look. And rather than cut these off, I was able, <coughs> excuse me, just to use them for mounting the condenser. <coughs> excuse me. I do got to cut these off. These hold the catch can on. I'll trim those off. Um, but yeah, got to get a couple fittings for the line lock. But all in all, coming along, I did the, the wire harness last night. Um, some of this stuff is really hard to do videos on when you're filming by yourself. Uh, I know that you know, I've, I've been asked, hey, do some wiring videos. And, and I, I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments below if you want to see any wiring videos. But... You know, I'm hoping to find somebody that can run the camera for me while I do this. And then, you know, I can show using the, the bead roller and the English wheel and the planishing hammer, stuff like that. So, anyway, guys, that's enough out of me. It's time to call it a day. I was in the shop till after midnight last night doing this wiring. Um... You know, when these wiring kits, if you've never used one before, they give you a big bundle of wires, like like this. And then you go through the bundle and you take out the wires you're not going to use, which is all of that. Well, I'll use that, but I mean, some of these other colors uh, I'm not going to use, or they're extra. So... A lot of sorting wire. This is a really nice kit because each wire is marked. It's the American Auto Wire 510 760 uh, Highway 22 22 circuit. And because of all the upgrades this car is getting, definitely want all the extra circuits. If it, if we were doing this car back to original. I'd probably just go with like a, a 12 circuit. That would be plenty. But this thing with having, you know, fuel injection and electric fuel pump and modern stereo system and power everything and heat and AC and all that, those extra circuits are needed. Um, so, you know, a lot of these, you see a lot of car fires happen to old vehicles when people try to, add stuff into those stock harnesses that were never designed to carry the loads of modern electronics. Um, wiring scares a lot of people. It doesn't scare me at all. I, I frankly enjoy doing it. I guess I'm weird or an odd oddity, but uh, maybe that's what I ought to specialize in is wiring cars like old Lucky Costa. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you would, please like, share, do all that stuff. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you if you are. Um, you know, that stuff helps the channel. That doesn't cost you a penny. And uh, it really helps out the channel. It helps the channel grow. The more we grow, the better the projects. All right, guys, enough out of me. See ya.